The Verilite has been an outstanding addition to our practice. We do um, over 100 IPL treatments a month, and we would not be successful with our IPL treatments for telangiectasias and solar lenigos if it wasn't for our Verilite and our Dialite. So we turn those machines on when we get to the office in the morning, and they don't turn off until we go home at night. You know, I was, one question I really wanted to address, which you already did, was how you use it, the Verilite, in, as an adjunct to IPL, because I hear that's primarily how you use it. Can you expand on that at all? With IPL and, and other devices, you're able to treat large bulk areas of redness in the skin. You're able to treat pigmented lesions. But there comes a point in time where the sometimes the telangiectasias, the small red blood vessels that we're treating, don't respond to IPL very well. And you need something that's going to target that vessel, specifically target that vessel. And then we can take our 700 micron uh, spot size with our Verilite or Dialite and get right on that vessel and it's like a magic wand. That vessel disappears. The same, the same goes for solar lenigos. Sometimes you'll get to a certain point with IPL where that lenigo just doesn't disappear. It, it's not as dark as it used to be, but you still have some pigment left. And then that's when we bring out, although it's the smallest device we have, we call it the heavy hitter because it's the one that really gets at the, what the remaining pigment that's left over. And therefore, like I said, that the, in order to be successful with IPL, I believe you really need to have either the Dialyte or the Verilite in your practice. Can you comment on the reliability of Can you, the comment on the reliability of the Verilite? In terms of reliability, uh, the, the Verilite, it, it's a mule. It just keeps on working. It, day in, day out, uh, we, we turn that machine on, like I said, in the morning. You know, it doesn't turn off till we go home at night. We use it every day. Uh, it, it doesn't go down on us. Uh, occasionally, we burn through a handpiece because we've used it so much. Uh, but the machine itself is extremely reliable, just like its older brother, the Dialyte. You know, the dialyte, same thing. It just a, it, it's a diode laser, so it doesn't have very many moving parts, and it's very easy to use and extremely reliable. I have four of them. Since you have the dialyte and you obviously have the Verilite, you've upgraded and mm -hmm. you've added that 940 wavelength. Could you comment to perhaps someone who's using the dialyte and the benefits of upgrading to that Verilite right. and the 940 wavelength? Yeah, I, I think the upgrade to the Verilite uh, is important in a practice where you only have one device, one Iridex device. It's going to be a Dialyte or a Verilite. I think the Verilite is the, the device you should have because it has the 940 wavelength. And the 940 wavelength, in addition to the 532 wavelength, allows you to target larger, deeper, bluer blood vessels. Uh, especially those bluer blood vessels that are on the face, uh, sometimes on the upper legs, we're able to use it as well. So I think that it, it is a significant upgrade in terms of what you can treat. It, it expands your, your treatment abilities. So I think you, if you don't have either one, you definitely want the Verilite. And how do you have two patient-related questions? One is, how do you introduce the laser to them, the type of treatment they're going to get, among all the different treatment options there? When patients come into our office for consultation, I see every single patient prior to having any laser treatment done. So no one, no one has a laser treatment until they've seen me. And that's very important for many reasons. Number one, I need to manage their expectations. That's very important. Secondly, I need to determine which device we're going to use on people. So if a patient comes into the office and they just have scattered telangiectasias on their cheeks or on the nose, which is probably the most common location, 
then I will guide them towards the Verilite treatment because it's simple, it's much less expensive than doing IPL, and it's very reliable. It usually only takes one, at the most, two treatments to get rid of telangiectasias. If the patients have uh, generalized erythema and telangiectasias, then we'll do a combination treatment, and that would be both IPL and the Verilite. So the Verilite is going to fit in to almost every single red face that we see or even brown face that we see. Uh, it's, if I could only have one laser in my office, it would be the Verilite. Boy, that's a wrap. Okay, done. <laughs> <We're> done. <laughs>